thought I'd do a quick update on the FUR code, uh, the uh, finite impulse response code that I was using in my previous uh, SDR uh, video. As I mentioned in that video, I couldn't get any more than around about 161 taps at 44.1 kilohertz. Um, and in playing around with the uh, Espressive DSP library, I knew there was uh, a very efficient uh, implementation in that library written in Extensor Assembler. And you can see that uh, is right here. Uh, now, Est Extensor Assembler is basically gibberish to me, but I know this, uh, I know this actually works because it's part of the, uh, the finite impulse response implementation there. So I thought it might be an interesting exercise to uh, try and get that working in the Arduino environment. Again, using the Arduino audio tools, uh, but instead of using the uh, inbuilt uh, FIR algorithm in the Arduino audio tools, to replace it with my own, which uses the uh, Espressive uh, Assembler FIR implementation. So I have been successful there, and you can see uh, I've created this uh, new uh, FIR converter. Um, class uh, which uh, inherits from base converter and it's able to call the uh, Espressive DSP implementation um, uh, to, uh, to, to perform a finite impulse response. So anyway, uh, let's move now to the uh, Arduino code so we can see that and then we'll uh, see it in action on the oscilloscope. Okay, so here's the uh, example that I'd uh, gone through before. It starts with an I2S stream applies the uh, FIR um, for a 90 degree phase shift between the left and right channels, uh, except this one is uh, 501 taps at 44.1 kilohertz, something I wasn't able to achieve anywhere close to with the uh, uh, with uh, the non-assembler code. So uh, the, the, the structure is exactly the same as before. Um, the change is you create this uh, for converter in instance, you pass in the left and right uh, tap so that the right uh, channel just has a delay line um, and then in copier.copy .copy, uh, you pass the uh, fur converter instance that you just created in there. So anyway let's uh, see this in action uh, on the oscilloscope um, and uh, we should see that 90 degrees uh, nice 90 degrees phase shift. Okay so here's the uh, phase shift example with 501 taps and you can see uh, it's working very well uh, there's no breaks or jitter in the uh, in the I2S uh, uh, stream, so that's a good thing. Means uh, there's still plenty of horsepower there uh, in the ESP32. Now I did try it up to 801 taps, and it did break down at that point. So somewhere between 501 and 801 taps is uh, is where this breaks down. But anyway, let's uh, go over to the uh, to the other signal generator and, and see the radio in action uh, with the 501 taps, and uh, it's coming right up. Okay, so here's the uh, test setup from before. I'm injecting 14.201 at minus 50 dBm, and uh, let's just zoom into the oscilloscope. Um, bear with me. So this is the unwanted sideband. I've got the uh, radio receiving on 14.2, lower sideband. So that is the unwanted sideband, the upper sideband. Let me switch to upper sideband. And then you can see there the difference between the two. So this is running 501 taps. Now, kind of the interesting thing is I, I'm not really noticing significant difference between the, um, uh, the unwanted sideband suppression, uh, even running you know, two and a half times the number of taps. So my suspicion really is uh, that, that the, um, the problem somewhere else, P potentially um, amplitude imbalance between the left and right channels. I know that's, uh, that, that, that is a, a problem you have to rectify. Now, I did put a, uh, a little correction uh, encoder on the board just to try and adjust the amplitude balance but I wasn't able to see much of a difference there. But anyway, uh, I thought this might be of interest. Uh, I mean, obviously, um, even though uh, 501 taps doesn't give you much more of an advantage over 161, at least in this implementation, um, it's certainly much more efficient and it allows you to do more processing in, uh, in that Arduino loop. Um, for example, using an OLED or some other sort of compute intensive uh, peripheral. But anyway, I thought this might be of interest. Um, 
I've updated the examples in the SDR uh, Arduino SDR um, uh, project that I had before. Uh, I'll include a link to the, the GitHub repo that has the uh, the new implementation of the FIR converter, and I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for now.